just when you think you get done with exact value questions for the unit circle and trig. Then they throw this tangent and cotangent at you and mess up your whole world. Um, secant and cosecant are relatively easy. If you can remember that secant is actually 1 over sine, or cosine, it would help if you knew it was the right thing, 1 over cosine, got ahead of myself, um, and that the cosecant is 1 over sine, basically once you set it up just flip the fraction over, show the reciprocal value, and then you'll have it, no big deal there. Um, so those are pretty easy, you just have to remember what they look like. But tangent and cotangent blow minds because why wouldn't they? Um, in your tangent setup, you're really dealing with the opposite side over the adjacent side. And then, you know, whatever you use to get that. Sokotoa, the old artwork set on Henry's coat and hat like I did. Um, and then the cotangent of that would just be the reciprocal value. So adjacent side over the opposite. The big deal here is you start to uh, things start to happen that wouldn't normally happen. The nice thing about sine, cosine, secant, cosecant is you're always using the uh, radius values of the unit circle. Specifically, you're getting a value of you know whatever that happens to be. It's a stable value, and it's always positive. Tangent and cotangent, you're starting to add in elements that not necessarily working that way. It's a little bit more complicated, I guess. For some reason, this was supposed to be 30 degrees and it became 3. Anyway, special triangle stuff, I talked about it on the last one, so if you didn't see it, go back and watch the one that's about sine and cosine, and then you'll get it. Um, but anyway, what happens if they say some craziness like, I want to know the value of tangent at pi over 3? Well, pi over 3 is the same as 60 degrees, so you might want to do some radian degree relationship work for yourself if that's how you want to live your life. So we're really talking about this angle as it comes out. Here's my right triangle, terribly drawn right because it's supposed to be upright, but whatever. Um, so this is 60 degrees. Based on the unit, uh, based on the special triangle, uh, square root of 3 should be out here. Uh, the value across from the 30 degree angle would be 1, and the value across from the uh, right triangle, so the hypotenuse in this case, would be 2, just in relation to each other, that sort of thing. Now, what's up with, you know, where do we go with this? So for tangent, we're dealing with opposite side over adjacent side. So here's my angle, so my opposite side is square root of 3, and my adjacent side would just be the side that's down here. It's the one that's not opposite and not adjacent, uh, not um, hypotenuse. So it's one. So I just say it's just a square root of three. Easy peasy. That one's simple. So what happens if it goes, you know, a little bit of darkest timeline? We start moving over into this nonsense. So I'm going to start doing. Okay, so what's the cotangent of five pi? over 6. So it's really this angle that I want to know the cotangent for, but if you saw the sine cosine thing you know that really the x axis acts as sort of your horizon line and that's where you base your angle from so it's really this angle right here which is 30 degrees. So I'm talking about that whole thing there instead of this part. This just gets me to where I, my starting off point I guess is the best way to explain it. So I'm dealing with this. Now, once again, the 30 degree angle here is going to be 1. That would make this my 60 degree angle, so it's going to be square root of 3 down here, and then 2 up here. Now, with that being said, things change a little bit. Cotangent would be adjacent over opposite, so of this side, the adjacent side would be here, square root of 3 and the opposite side would be 1. And I know you're thinking, well, you idiot, you told us before this is going to get complicated. It, it will get a little complicated here uh, now. Because we have to think, okay, in this quadrant, my x values are actually negative. So I'm over to the negative side of this. So instead of just square root of 3, it's actually the negative square root of 3. The y value is still good in this case. So I end up with negative square root of 3 for the cotangent of 5 pi over 6. That's the exact value of that whole sort of setup.
So there you go. Now, one more to do, and I think we'll be you'll have a general idea of where it's all going. So the reality is you want to continue to do things that look nice. So we'll do one last one and I'll say, okay, so what's the cotangent because why not? Why not use cotangent, right? Of 5 pi over 4. Which, once again, the angle would be here, but the real angle I'm worried about in all this is the angle right here. And it's a 45 degree angle. So once again, back to the drawing board. I set it up. 45 across from there um, would be 1. This would also be 45, so this is 1. And this is my right angle, so this is square root of 2. Uh, so cotangent, again, is the adjacent side, which would be the side that's not opposite, so 1. And the, high, uh, and the opposite side, which would be 1. But the weird thing about this one is the x is negative. So coming out here, you're looking at a negative 1. And the y value is negative 1 as well. And by the way, why is it negative 1 and it's not going down to down here? Because these are just uh, relationships within each other. Their relationship only works inside the triangle. It doesn't actually mean that it's... Um, in it's been adjusted for the fact that this is negative one that kind of thing it's just you know sort of a proportional relationship anyway since they're both negative you end up getting a positive one so and I guess in this case the whole two wrongs don't make a right thing doesn't really fly because you're in the zone where x is negative and y is negative and there you are getting a positive number so that's the adjustment for sine and cosine secant cosecant or sorry it's the adjustment for tangent and cotangent now sine cosine, secant, and cosecant work on a little different level, but it's nothing that's completely undoable.